This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, this video is my testimony, but I believe it's for somebody who's looking for their identity. They're looking for their identity. They're looking for validation. They're looking for their place in life. And their ears are open to what other people are saying. And so I'm just going to testify of something, okay? So I can't say that I was ever really intentionally looking for somebody to tell me who I was, but I remember over these last two years where I've been in this position where the Lord has called me out of work and he's basically just called me to his throne of grace to you know be at his feet and receive his instruction and his nourishment and sometimes i look back on times with him and so there was a time i don't remember what year it was it may have been like 2013 when i went to new york and i was invited to this um party birthday party that was taking place at a pizza parlor and i went to the pizza parlor we in there i, I only knew two people and one of them i had met that day <laughs> but um i went there and i was sharing with my friend a hook that i had wrote and wrote written and i was singing the hook and there was somebody in there and he's like he like yo who is that yo turn that up turn that up yo my man's in the building and i'm like what in the world i'm like who is that and who is his man's and what is going on and so long story short um they wanted me to try to sing to a song or whatever and i didn't really i wasn't really comfortable doing it um but as we were leaving, the guy who he was talking about, I just got this sudden curiosity and 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 um, desire to know, well, who is he anyway? So I said, hey, if I ever wanted to get in touch with you again, how would I do that? And he gave me an email address and the email address was his name. And um, I looked him up later and I was like, oh, okay. And I found out who he was and he was a famous music producer. And um, I was looking back on that situation with God, you know, what is this? It's like about seven years later, roughly. And um, he was, I was just looking back on it. And I was thinking like, wow, I wasn't even ready then. You know, like I still like to drink. I still like to party. I didn't, I wasn't seeking God first and his kingdom and his righteousness. Um I, I didn't know who I was either. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know then, like, I might have heard, but I really hadn't come into agreement with who I was. How about that? I hadn't come into agreement with who God said I was and what I was supposed to be doing, okay? Um, and so I said I wasn't ready. You know, it, it, sometimes in life, God puts us in places and he's saying, look, this it's easy. I can do it just like that. But are you ready? Are you ready? And so I look back and I said, God was showing me then how easy it is for him to position me into places, but I wasn't ready. And I'm glad I didn't get it then because had I, you know, got into um, the entertainment industry, I probably would have lost myself because I did not yet come into agreement into the, into the knowledge, the full knowledge of um, who God said I am. And so what God is saying is that you can't allow other people to tell you who you are. What he was what he was showing me is that if I would have had that opportunity then when I wanted it, that that assignment would have defined who I was. The people around me would have defined who I was, the culture, the environment. And so what God has been teaching me these last two years, I mean, he spoke to me directly and he said, I am his chosen. I am his chosen. He spoke to me directly and told me that. So whether I know that I'm his chosen because I'm one of the 12 tribes or because I'm or because this person, that's irrelevant to me because he spoke to me directly and told me that I am his, that he has chosen me and, and that, that um, you know, that that what I do is for his glory. 
So, you know, I don't get, you know, it's like th that a few verses that talk about, you know, don't get caught up in genealogies and some stuff like that. I don't get caught up in all that because God has spoken to me directly and told me I'm his chosen. And, and what he's and what he's offering to others is that if you draw close to him, if you get intimate with him, you don't have you won't desire for other people to tell you who you are because he will tell you who you are. And 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 telling you who you are, that's something that you should only your creator. You should only want that from your creator to tell you who you are, because the same person to tell you who you are, they'll be quick to tell you who you ain't if things change, if you follow what I'm saying. So like, um, for example, historians, one minute they'll say, well, you know, we found evidence that the blood or, you know, mankind came from this or whatever. Another minute they'll say, well, science have just found new evidence that, you know, blah, 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 blah. But if you have an encounter with God and he tells you himself who you are, who can take that away from you? Nobody can steal that from you because nobody else gave it to you but God. Okay, so, um, yeah, God made you. God is your manufacturer. God is your creator. Only the creator, the creator knows best the identity and the functionality of what they made. So that's something fragile. Your identity is fragile. Your identity is essential. Seek your identity from God. Don't let nobody else tell you who you are. That's why I don't let nobody else tell me who I am. Whether they tell me something good, fine. They tell me something bad, okay. Guess what? Because my creator has told me who I am. My identity is hidden in Christ. That's something nobody else can touch. You can't even touch that. You can't touch that. So if you're saying something good, great. If you're saying something bad, whatever because god has already told me that i'm his chosen that's why i don't i don't get so bent out of shape about that because god has told me that i'm his chosen god woke me up from my slumber on his own all right so um that's that seek god have that relationship with god allow him to be your father allow him to be your teacher Allow him to be your guide. All right? Be blessed in Jesus' name.